Hello there Internet, today is Thursday, February the 16th, 2012. I always have to check the date, I have no idea why I never prepare for this ahead of time. It's the same introduction every freaking time. Anyways, I know it's been a while since I've actually posted anything. Uh, I have been extremely busy, more on that later. And by later I mean not this video, but perhaps another video. So as I was saying, I've been extremely video, uh, busy. Uh, we've just released uh, two videos from Illusionist. I'm just here to talk about those really, really quickly. The first one is called The Satellite Change by Ben Prime. Um, and uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll see if I can just go ahead and cut like a little clip of the video uh, into this video. If not, just go to Illusionist. I'll put the link down below. Uh, and what it is, is it, it's essentially, uh, let me just see if you can find a deck of cards here. you think I'd have a deck of cards handy, wouldn't you? Oh my god, this is just pathetic. I've got millions of cards all over the place and I can't find one. Maybe I'll just use this, this cheap Fox Leaks box. Essentially, you hold, uh, you, you, you basically hold a card uh, in a very awkward position. And it's awkward only for your hands. Uh, looking at it on camera, it's actually not that bad. Uh, but it's awkward just because it's a position probably most of us have not had to deal with before. It's probably just something that just feels very, very weird. So you're holding it and with a quick little shake or a, like a movement of your hand, the car changes. Uh, I will say this does look good. It looks very good to me. However, it is very angle sensitive. Uh, it is pretty much something only that works from, I would say, pretty much head on. Uh, unless you've got some really good cover or some technique that you adapt to cover the, the, the change. Uh, it's very angle sensitive. However, that doesn't diminish the fact that it's actually fairly useful it, and it's very visual. Uh, a lot of people are, are, are bashing the effect in the forums because they say, well, he hasn't put the time into this, he doesn't love it, blah, blah, blah. Well, I, I, kind, of, I kind of agree and disagree with that, but at the same time, I think he, I think this is a good time to release something like this because if you've reached a plateau of where you can you feel you you can only do something with a certain move or something like that, it might be a good time to release it. Give give other people a chance to try and like change, edit, uh, uh, come up with uh, alternate solutions or alternate handlings to the product or to the change, and then after it's gone from your hands. It could possibly evolve in advance in someone else's hands and become something else entirely, uh, something beautiful. Like you, you never know. So I, I feel personally, I feel it was a good time to release the the the, the video, the change. It was it was perfect. Uh, the second product that came out was called uh, Confinement by um, Phil DaCosta. We I saw this maybe I would say geez, oh a couple months ago. Uh, it was a it was a submission that was sent to us, and essentially what Confinement is, it's a uh, a signed card. Uh, vanishes from the deck and reappears in a sealed, a sealed uh, box or package of gum. Uh, he uses the the five gum. Uh, I am going to think that you can use other packages as well, as long as it meets certain requirements. And those requirements obviously are actually laid out in the video. But this is really good, and it is not at all exactly what I thought. It's not at all what I thought it would be. Like I knew there would be some sort of you know hijinks involved, but it's actually very well put together, it's very well constructed, and it's very laid out. And by construction, I mean not just the gimmick, but the way the whole effect is presented to a spectator. Um, we all know that there's some sort of move that needs to be done, but at the same time, that move is taught, uh, and the ability for you to then go ahead and load up whatever you need to load up. Again, I'm, I'm hinting here, but we all know what, what's going on. But the the reason for having to, to the, most people when they do a, a card to anything, if you have to load something, there's always that little bit of move that might require just a bit more time than necessary, where your hands are like in your pockets or something like that, that is required. Like, you know, no one wants to see the magician play pocket pool with themselves. I'm sorry, like nobody wants to see it, regardless of how good effect you think it is. But Phil, what he's done is he's given you the ability to uh, load the, the card into the gum without having to actually uh, fish around for any length of time. He's, he's basically, he's given it to you and laid it out to you very, very well, and I like this fact. Uh, he's also given us a, um, an alternate handling as well, where uh, a torn card, uh, a torn corner appears inside a sealed deck of gum visually. And the handling for this is fairly brilliant as well. I, I like both handlings of the effect. I personally like the first one where the whole card disappears, but they're both good, good in myself. Uh, sorry, good in my own my own opinion. 
Let's try this again. In my opinion, they are both good. Now, I do have one issue with confinement, and it's not necessarily the trick, but what he says during the, the performance of the trick. He, he asks the question, wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it be amazing if... I've always been taught and have always, always believed that you never ask the spectator a question where you don't already know the answer and you don't want the wrong answer. If you're going to ask them a question, make sure you're prepared for both a yes answer and both a no answer. Because he actually says, wouldn't it be amazing if your card appeared in this pack of gum? What happens if they say no? What happens, like, you give them a chance to to not go the way you want them to. And that's the only issue I have with this. Uh, I, I never like that, that phrase, wouldn't it be amazing if. You know what? It would be amazing, period. But you know what? You don't need to. You don't need to ask them because what happens if it's not amazing to them? What happens if, like, you know what? No, I think it would be amazing if it appeared in my wallet, or I think it would be amazing if it appeared in that pop can that was like sealed. You you give them the opportunity to veer off course, at which point you've lost control. You you no longer in control of the effect. The effect is diminished, and it's no longer what. It's not going to have the impact that it used to have. Uh, I think perhaps an alternative to that would be, I'll tell you what, let's do something amazing. Or, I want to show you something amazing. Or, you know, like something like that. Don't give them the option to, to disagree with you or to say yes or to no or not give you the answer you're looking for. Like, that should never, ever, you should never allow that to happen. That's just my opinion. I'm sure there are other guys out there that have no issues with this. Um, but in my opinion, if I'm going to try and lead someone down the garden path to go somewhere, I'm going to damn well make sure that they have no other option to follow that path than than what I've laid out for them. They're going to go straight, and damn it, they have no, they're not turning left, they're not turning right, they're going the way I want them to go. But I'm a little bit more subtle than that, I might add. And that's my only issue with confinement. They're both really good downloads, satellite change and confinement. They're both really good. Uh, satellite change is it's not very long at all. It's uh, it's only about 80 megabytes. Yeah, that's right, 80 megabytes. Uh, and it's a very high quality download. I should know. I set it up myself. Uh, it's probably one of the largest resolution downloads that we've done in a while. Uh, because it's a shorter video, I don't mind creating larger videos for these things. Uh, and confinement change is about 440, 450 megabytes. And again, it's a larger format video as well. Uh, it's a short video, which allows me to create a larger resolution, higher, higher frame... Um, bit rates which allow you to expand and you know shrink the movie however you want and again they're both available windows media file as well as the uh, the quicktime m4v portable format which is pretty much compatible with almost any uh device out there android iphone blackberry possibly i think um uh, ipad like you name it those two videos can be played almost anywhere if you can't play one you're definitely gonna be, definitely gonna be able to be uh, play the other and so that's it. That's really all I wanted to say. Uh, I just want to say a quick hello to, to everyone. Get a video out there, because like I said, it's been a while since I've done anything. Uh, I am... Oh, oh, this is exciting. Paper Crane sent me something the other day, uh, and I've been watching it. And I've watched it more than once, because I want to make sure that I, I get this right. Because this is a really good product. Very, very good product. Uh, and I'll probably be ready for a review on it within a few days. Uh, but I want to make sure I get it right because uh, I've actually I've enjoyed watching this magic video And it's been a long time since I've enjoyed watching anything as far as magic videos go most of the time They're just cut and dry very little excites me anymore But this one actually I really really liked so hopefully within the next couple of days I'll be able to get that up um, upload it uh, and hopefully uh, I'm not sure if it's for sale yet I know I did get a pre-release but it's, like I said it's taken me a week or two to actually go through it to make sure I do do it justice because I don't want to just skimp on something and not be able to say perhaps convey the accurate emotions and ideas and, and thoughts that I actually want to say for it. So uh, more on that in another video, maybe later this week or early next week. But uh, confinement change, confinement change, nice. Satellite change uh, by Ben Prime. Confinement by Phil DaCosta with guest starring Eric Jones. Uh, both are very good uh, downloads. Uh, satellite change, like I said, very knacky, very angle sensitive, but however, there is potential. There's uh, great potential. It's highly visual. Uh, when I see it, when I sub, we see Ben do it like on the video, it's just like, it's, boom, it's instantaneous. There's no, in my eyes, no funny business going on. I know some of you might disagree, but in my eyes, into most people's eyes, like regular spectators, I don't think that this is going to be the issue that everyone's making out to be. And then again, confinement, uh, some confinement by uh, Phil DaCosta, signed signed card into a sealed pack of gum that is, I might add, inspectable by the, the spectator. 
you can hand the, the gum to them, the whole package. You can get them to unwrap the, the cellophane. You can get them to open it, and right there is the card. So it is, it is a very good, very visual, in the hands uh, effect that is probably one of the better ones I've seen in a long time. Uh, Breach was a really good one as well, the coin and the balloon. But this is this is really good. It's it basically what you read there there's no false advertising there's no hype the card is in the box the box is sealed there is like no openings that the the spectator can see or anything like that so basically we've delivered on everything that we've said uh, it's a very good 1495 you can't go really wrong on this so if you're gonna get any of them get the get, get confinement first if you want them both get them both but I feel confinement is by far the the better one of the two uh, satellite is just again just a change. Confinement's a full-on trick with two with two handlings. Uh, one um, is better than the other in my opinion, but I've already told you that. So on that note, I'm going to say goodbye. I've got a lot of work to get done. I've uh, oh, and a side note, uh, the other day I tore apart my office because I just wanted to rearrange it, wanted to clean it, and I'm trying to set stuff back up in the, like a much better way, much better format for me to work. Only to find out I've got too much crap. I've got far too much crap in this in this place to actually do what I want to do. So I set it back up the way it used to be, but at least now it's clean. So I'm not embarrassed to show you around or anything like that. Uh, and I might actually just go ahead and do that, uh, show you the things that are they're laid out just a little bit nicer. So you guys have a good day. You just go out and do what you want. Have fun. Winter, um, I think, is almost over. I'm not sure where you are, but every time it snows here, it rains and the snow's gone, and it's like spring for a while, and then it snows again. Uh, if you're anywhere else and you've got snow, huh, sucks to be you. If you're anywhere else and you got sun, huh, sucks to be me. So you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.